The square root of sine x is a composite function, the sine function inside the square root function. So to find its derivative, we have to use the chain rule, which I've written here for your reference. The chain rule tells us that to find the derivative of a composite function like this, we'll have to take the derivative of the outside function, which in this case is the square root function, and leave the inside unchanged, and then multiply by the derivative of that inside function. Let's give it a try. First, you may find it helpful to rewrite the radical as a rational power. The square root of sine x is the same as sine x to the power of 1 half. With that in mind, let's start taking the derivative. The outside function, again, is the square root, or that power of 1 half. The way you take the derivative of something to the power of 1 half is by using the power rule. So the power of 1 half comes down as a factor. We leave the inside function unchanged, right? g of x, that just doesn't change. And then reduce the power by 1. That's power rule. So instead of 1 half, we now have negative 1 half. It's just like taking the derivative of x to the n, except in this case, n is 1 half and x is sine x. Then to finish this off, we just have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Multiply by the derivative of sine, which we know to be cosine. And so that's our answer, the derivative of the square root of sine x. And if you're a sucker for positive powers, you don't like that negative power, we could move the sine x down to the denominator and heck, even rewrite the one half power as a radical. So you might prefer to write it like that. But that's how you find the derivative of the square root of sine x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.